Oh, we got a lot of snow. We got a lot of snow out there the last couple of days. Uh, so it's Tuesday when I'm filming this, and today is a holiday in lieu of Boxing Day, I believe. However, we're going into work anyways. We got us a load. We got us a job to do. We need to bring some freight from Winnipeg to Kenora. The load is ready at 5 p.m. So it's going to be a little bit of a late day, and with the snow outside, it's going to be a little bit slow moving. I'm probably not going to be back home till midnight or later, and then we got to be at work tomorrow morning uh, as soon as we're able to. So I guess... Without further ado, why don't we get out there and uh, see how bad the roads are? It's gonna be fun. I was actually supposed to have this day off uh, at home, but my co-worker's out there and he had two loads to do today, two loads to Kenora and back. And uh, I was thinking to myself, that's, that's gonna be a long day. Plus he had some other stuff to do in the morning yet. Two loads to Kenora and back. The weather outside is still frightful. And the snow looks very delightful, but uh, on the highways, it's not as fun. It's not as delightful when it's on the road. And it's all over the roads today. So uh, I'm going to do one of the loads uh, so that he's only got to do one. And then I do one and together we will get her done. And then nobody runs out of hours or, you know, freight isn't late. Or however, whatever would happen. There's so many things that could have happened today. It's not going to be that great out on the roads. But uh, we're going to get it done. We're going to be careful. And I'll do one load. He'll do one load. And then we can go home. And we've got a couple of days. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then we have a long weekend again for New Year's. So you're probably watching this in the New Year already, in the future. How's 2022 treating you so far? Let me know down below. What were your plans on New Year's? Uh, what did you do? Did you just sit at home? I'm pretty sure that's what me and Brett are going to do. We're just going to sit here and uh, stare at that black box hanging on the wall. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's, very, it's a very nice box. All kinds of stories to tell you. It's all right, boys. Anyone want to go outside? Yeah? I gotta let you out one more time before I go, all right? Britt is at work today as well. She had to work yesterday too. So both of these holidays in lieu of or stats, uh, she didn't get them off. She had to work, which is fine. And, oh wait, no, 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 what am I saying? She was supposed to work yesterday. But we both had the day off yesterday. We got to sit in bed all day and stare at the black box hanging on the wall in our bedroom all day. It was great. Haven't had a day like that in years. So we pretty much just sat in bed all day. And we finished off the Yellowstone series. And I'm so frustrated that they didn't release the last episode of season four along with all the other episodes. Who does that? There are so many things left unresolved. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys who haven't watched it yet, but Yellowstone is an awesome series. However, they didn't include episode 10 or the final episode in season four. And then season five is supposed to be coming, I hear like 2023. That's way too long for me to wait. I have to know what happens and I have to know what happens now. It was awesome. Yeah, we binge watched all of season four yesterday in bed it's absolutely fantastic and now i gotta make up for it <laughs> gotta go to work and play in the snow How's that you? could i have a, a large coffee with uh one cream and a shot of espresso in it please all right do you want to try apple pudding with that yeah, sure. I'll grab one of those. And could I also have a sausage uh, farmer's wrap with uh, creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle? That's sausage. Pardon me? And that was sausage? Yeah. All right. And you said an apple cutter. So sure. Anything else for you? No, that's it. How do you throw it up, please? Thank you. Okay. Super duper. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting ride into Kenora. It would have been tough to do two loads in one day today. Yikes. I gotta pick up my load in Winnipeg at 5 p.m. <laughs> Which means I'm probably going to be back oh, probably about 1 a.m. if I hurry uh, with this weather. We'll see. It is supposed to be, you know, two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. But I have to go pick up the trailer in Winnipeg and then drop it off again in Winnipeg when we're done and then deal with these roads in between. Somebody cleared the yard yesterday. Or today, probably today. Uh, there's all the snow clearing equipment there. All right. I can already tell there's less trucks here. That's good. Everybody's getting back on the road, getting the wheels turning. Ooh, going past the big Manitoba pyramids here. <laughs> the snow pyramids. 
back here and start my truck up get it warmed up i want to get going asap i want to get going now a few trucks gone already uh, the rest of these will be leaving in the next couple of days well here we are beginning of our day the sun's going down welcome to winter time if you're familiar with winnipeg this is dougald and the east perimeter I'm headed north i'm going to go around the north side of winnipeg and sneak in down route 90 go pick up my 53 foot van triaxle it's loaded with goods i'm going to take it out to kenora drop it there and bring an empty trailer back and then go home now on a good day when everything is going perfect and you don't have any weather slowing you down like this you should be able to get it done in six hours that's from leaving our yard to getting back to our yard i'd say six six and a half hours any other day most days something slows you down maybe you stop for a bathroom break and a coffee break or something eh, seven hours six to seven hours let's say so we'll see how late i get back today that's okay i slept in so i got a good sleep come on come on go 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 spinning on the ice Come on, find some traction. There you go. Got a plow coming up beside me. Buddy, you can't fit beside me in that snowbank. Just let me speed up. You're going for it anyway, okay. All right. Dude, man. All right, whatever you want to do, bud. I'm going to be going faster than you. I'm going to let you in front of me, okay? That was unnecessary. But that's okay. Whatever. Whatever. He wants to go fast. He's not he doesn't have his blade down and he's not salting, so he must be in a hurry to clear something. Came pretty close to my steps here with his <laughs> with his blade. Maybe a little bit nervous. We got it. We got it. We're professionals. We got it. Even professionals get a little bit uh, nervous sometimes. But if he came, he was still like three feet away. I mean, if he came any closer, I could always hit the shoulder and give him more space. The roads are only slippery by the intersection. Out here, we got some dry pavement, which is nice. Just by the intersection, that's where everybody who doesn't know how to drive in wintertime, like floors it at the lights and then they let their tires spin and spin and spin and that makes it very slippery. If they wouldn't do that, it wouldn't be so slippery there. Roads are pretty bad in the city. Something's going on here in the left lane. I don't know what's going on. We're on Route 90 South. It's a one way here. See some police lights up ahead. That lineup has been back, oh, probably a mile already. Oh, there's a... What's going on here? What is this? Are they doing check stops in that lane only? What? I'm confused, I don't know what's going on over there. They were stopping, yeah, well he's blocking this lane here. They're supposed to go around, but I'm not sure why. Huh. Maybe we can get going here. It's extremely icy. We're gonna be very, very careful. Oh, they're bright LEDs, eh? Yikes. They wanna be sure you see them. And now they're all backed up over here. And there's like cones in between that lane. Maybe that, is there like some kind of sporting event on today or something? that sign say there COVID-19 testing center what are all those people lining up to get tested no way no way that can't be what that is that'd be insane oh what's this what's this oh buddy 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 what are you doing bud pick a lane can't have both lanes there's two lanes here he's in the middle of both of them Does that lane end? Oh, I see. 
No, it doesn't. That lane doesn't end. There's still two lanes here. I have no idea. Yeah, that's all going to the testing site? No way! You're all getting tested? It looks like they're all going to the testing center. That's insane. I've never seen that. I still think there's gotta be some other explanation for that, but it does look like they're all going to the testing center. Thanks. So our trailer's just around the corner up here. I'm gonna hook up and uh, talk to you in a bit there. See if we can get ourselves out of this icy mess they call Winnipeg. Okay, you can see behind me we got our box. This is gonna be a late night. There's a cone in my lane right there. So I'll have to go around it very carefully. These people are coming up, not giving me very much room here, but that's okay. Yeah, there's police there, there's police here. It looks like the lineup that was in that lane is now gone, I think. But where are they all going? Still haven't figured it out. I probably will never know. So this is southbound. I want to go back northbound, which is the next intersection way up there by that McDonald's, that glorious, glorious pair of golden arches over there. It's wonderful, it's making me hungry. I brought a lunch along though, so no golden arches for me today. It's supposed to go down, down, down to minus 32, maybe minus 35 tonight. Okay, everybody, don't crowd me too much. I've got to get around this little cone here. sneak past that there. There we go. Oh, we're heavy. I've got about 46, uh, just under 47,000 pounds of uh, a product in the trailer behind me. So the ride out there, I'm not too worried about as much. Like I've told you before, I have more traction when I'm heavy. It's the load back here going to be a little uh, interesting if they haven't salted the roads by then. I'm very surprised that they haven't. Usually they do pretty quick. All right, here's our turn. Going left. All right, my friends, let's not make this too hard on me, okay? Hurry up there, bud. Hurry up. Wonderful. I'll just stay in the center lane. That right lane ends just up here. And we're going night trucking. We'll see you in Kenora. Should be about two and a half hours away. Should be. Keyword. Just going around the bypass of Kenora. Karen thinks I should go that way. I disagree. I think we should go this way. In 100 meters, slide right on Karen's drive. Oh. She's gonna be so mad when she realizes that I didn't listen to her. Ooh, this is slippery. Slippery, slippery, slippery. Hopefully that guy behind me is gonna stop. Slippery, bud. This road for six kilometers. Okay, she's on board with my plan now. All right, so that guy behind me was able to stop. That's good. <laughs> Yikes. So yeah, Kenora is right over here. We're just gonna go to the east side of Kenora and come in on Airport Road. It's a much better, uh, well, it's the preferred truck route. If we ever get a green light here. Oh, look at that guy just giving her. Oh, oh. 
Oh, there's a, that's what I need for my pickup. <laughs> I don't know if I can get such a big one just on a 1500. This is an F-250 here beside me. You might need a bigger truck. I'm gonna have to get something like that when we live out in the country though. Oh, wait, come on, come on, let's go climb the hill. Green light. The weather's gotten a little worse into Ontario, but we're doing okay. We're managing. Just slow going, that's all. Helps a lot, especially climbing these hills now, having all that weight in my trailer. It's gonna be a little more interesting on the way back. The truck I'm in right now, uh, I have it down below in the description of all my videos, but I believe it's a 2007 Peterbilt 379. It's got a Cummins engine in it, 425 horsepower. And uh, she's got some miles on her. Just under, uh, about 1.2 million miles, I think, something like that. 1.89, almost 1.9 million kilometers. Just around the corner here is our turn. There it comes, you see the street lights? There we go. Hey, this guy's got his high beams on. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, now I got purple spots in my eyes. Those LED lights, man. Whew. That is bright. I can't read the signs now because I got purple spots in my eyes. Friendly reminder. Try to remember to turn your brights off. And you gotta be careful with your Jake brakes in weather like this too. I've got ABS on this truck though, which is very handy. And it also works with the Jake brakes. So before the Jake brakes lock up the truck, uh, ABS will engage so that I don't uh, get myself into a pickle. All right, there's a couple of steep hills in here. How much further? Seven kilometers? So about five miles down this road yet. I think this truck is getting louder. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've uh, been on holidays. I just missed it. it. Sounds so good to be back in it. I love the sound of this truck. Look at that house. A little gingerbread house. So, look at this house. All string lights for Christmas. That's that's neat. That's interesting. Lights it up nice. You guys see that? Sorry guys, I'm trying to roll through here as quiet as I can. Uh, kind of hard to do with this truck when I got a heavy load behind me climbing the hills. My truck likes to sing. I hope you like her song. Sort of got to roll right through this residential zone to get into town. Now this is a steep hill here. I don't want to mess around here in wintertime. And there's a car coming too. Of course there is. Let's not make this too easy. There you go. See, I'm just gonna... That's gotta be like a 15% grade. That is... I'm sure the video doesn't do it justice. That's... Busy road tonight, yikes. Shouldn't you all be in bed? Gotta work in the morning, what you still doing up? There you go. What am I still doing up? There's a question. <laughs> I got freight to deliver. There 
is no regular work day to trucking. Throw my other trailer in the dock. It's just on the, the other side of these nice skirts. And of course, my rear axle here was frozen. So I just had to crawl underneath there and free those brakes. So those are rolling now. It's good. This one I dropped in the dock already. It's time to go home. I'm gonna go home. You, what's up with that? That's a, that wasn't very nice. Always crawling around under the trailers every winter. <laughs> yeah, funny enough, this is what freed them. I didn't cut anything. You just had to tap them. Just tap them right in the right spot, and they start working again. Okay, rock and roll, bud. Rock and roll. A lot of snow out here. Much more than back home. Much more than back home. Well, it's 9.30. Probably not gonna be home till like two in the morning. We'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna get going, get there as fast as I can and uh, talk to you when we get back to Winnipeg. How about that? Should be two and a half hours. Should be. Around midnight. We made it back. We made it back. That was a late night. Late night, but it was a late start too, so really it wasn't uh, really it wasn't anything like out of the ordinary. It's just for some reason the load was only ready at 5 p.m. and it's a seven hour round trip. You know, we got back and it was about 1 30 2 o'clock 2 o'clock right now in the morning i'm gonna quickly rush home get some sleep and uh, probably do it all over again tomorrow <laughs> hopefully the weather's a little better what a nasty weather day this day was but we got her done and that's what we do right we can't just stop because of every little snowfall, even the big snowfalls. We've got to keep going to the best of our ability. And it's tough because you got to make the call sometimes and say, "Hey, it's it's a little too intense. We need to we need to stop. We need to delay this till tomorrow because it's just unsafe to continue." But at the same time, if you call it a day too easily, and if you give up too easy. Well, the weather we have up here, you'll be giving up every day. Nothing's gonna get done. So we still gotta get stuff done. We, we can't just throw in the towel every second day because, oh, look, it's snowing again. Oh no, it's minus 40, again. Guess we can't work. Guess we can't deliver stuff. That's not how that works. <laughs> we wouldn't get anything done. So you gotta, in different regions, the line of where you shut it down is different. Obviously for a whiteout blizzard, that doesn't matter where you are. We don't have whiteout blizzards here every second day. We have a couple per year. So you gotta make the call. When those happen, okay, it's time to shut her down. It's time to, uh, it's time to make some phone calls and say, we're sorry, things are out of our control. It's gonna be a little late or delayed or something. But yeah, if there's a little bit of snow and some extreme cold, you gotta keep trucking. That's the way it is here and that's okay you know we learn to live with it we learn to work through it learn to keep our fuel in our tanks conditioned so that it doesn't uh, gel up on us we learn to keep ourselves warm take measures to prevent ourselves from getting in a bad situation you know over the 15 years that I've been driving and 10 years that I've been doing this specific thing or at this place I, I've, I've had to learn the hard way sometimes that you need to be prepared. Sometimes your truck is gonna break down on the coldest day. And usually if it's if it's gonna break down, it's gonna break down on the coldest day. You gotta be prepared. When it's gonna be minus 40, you gotta be prepared to 
keep warm in your truck if it won't run. You gotta have uh, you know, your warm clothing, warm ski pants or whatever, warm shoes, extra socks, extra, extra hats. I have two toques that I have with me, uh, extra gloves anything so that if your truck stops and you need to call for help always make make sure your cell phone is charged always keep it on the charger always keep it at 100% because you don't know when you're not going to have access to a charger and you might need to call for help be prepared and then you get it done you know and that's how we keep things going and that's how all your christmas presents arrive and how all of your birthday presents arrive and how your computer or your cell phone that you're holding right now how that arrived to the store and how you know the couch you might be sitting on right now how that got to the store you gotta keep moving but anyways it's time for bed for me probably for you too take care everybody thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow